A massive discovery was just made in Spyro 3 today. Rob the Gamer, while doing a 117% run, accidentally did this. What? That's right, he duplicated more than a dozen green gems, spawning out of him like he's a fucking fountain from the key chest, all by getting hit by this Rhinoch. But what's really going on here? Well, let's dive into it. You see, there's actually two things that cause this glitch. First is knocking this Rhinoch off the edge into the abyss, and next is getting hit by another Rhinoch directly afterwards. And that's it, it's actually pretty easy to pull off. So, why does this happen? Well, it has to do with the different states that the Rhinoch is programmed with. So for example, state 0 would be the Rhinoch in his idle animation, then state 5 would be the Rhinoch as he's attacking. State 7 is his laughing animation that occurs after he squishes you with his club. Not only is that animation caused by him squishing Spyro, but it can also be caused by another nearby Rhinoch also squishing Spyro. So if you kill one Rhinoch, then quickly get squished by another one, the game will think that the first Rhinoch is laughing while dying. Which, honestly, I mean, relatable. But because he's trying to laugh while dying, the game is pulling him in and out of laughing and dying every single frame. And this code right here says that if that happens, that Rhinoch has to drop a gem for every frame that Spyro is in the squished animation. So that explains why this dupe happens and why you get so many juicy delicious gems from it. But enough of that nerdy shit. Guys, let's get into the drama. Should this be allowed in speedruns? Well, yeah, at least that's what most speedrunners think. But Deo, then you're not collecting all of the collectibles in the full collection category. What's the point of playing 117% if you're just gonna skip over some of the Shut gems up, that are nerd. There. What do you want, a source requirement or something? But he does bring up an interesting point. Like, what does it mean to really get 100%? Should you be forced to grab every collectible from its original spot? Or can we allow for some leniency to maybe implement a cool dupe like this that breathes new life into the routing of a game that could frankly use it? And to throw another wrench into things, you know, duping has already existed in other parts of the game for years now, if only just a couple of gems here or there. In fact, here's a montage of every single dupe that Nitrovsky knows of and sent to me. a lot of dupes, but the reason I haven't mentioned these until now is that they only account for seven gems total across all of them, whereas the new dupe that was found in Sunny Villa is 146. That rings our grand total of possible gems that you can duplicate and skip in 117% to 153 gems. Skipped, like left on the ground, cruising to the end of the game 100% like it's nothing. Meanwhile, these other gems are just sitting there on the ground with tears in their eyes, blood welling up in their hearts as they say, Why? Why have you left me? <laughs> I'm sorry, it's just so sad. But maybe I'm being a little dramatic here. Like, 153 gems compared to the 20,000 gems that are in the game, it's really not a big number of skipped gems. Well, I guess the final level does have 5,000 alone. And I guess technically, if you were to route it, you could probably skip an entire level. But it's not that many. And I guess technically, they could find more optimized versions of these dupes that could lead to even more skipped gems. But don't worry about that. Just, it is what it is right now, and we have to make a decision. Should we be able to skip these gems and play 117% with this cool new routing, cool new trick? Or should we kind of put some more rules in place so that we're not able to skip things like this. Where do you guys stand on the subject? Well, that's it for me today, guys, and I hope you enjoyed the video. The informative look into Spyro 3 is always something I'm curious about, and I hope you guys enjoy this sort of content as well. I'll catch you guys in the next one, and I love you. Aww.